But here in the fairway, there's quite a bit up there. And I mean, you got what 50 spine, it's and uh, you don't feel it a lot of times, but it's uh. Sawed off follow through. Nice. Come on. Hundred and seventy two yards. If anything it plays ever so slightly back uphill. Shot. Beauty. Went out and one over today, but three under on the back nine so far. Brooke Henderson for Birdie at eighteen. Thought she had it for a moment. So Brooke in a share of third right now. Trying to finish up at nine under and five off the lead of Se Young Kim on this Saturday in Naples. Look at what Lexi faces with her birdie attempt at 15. When we walked up, Steve said, I think she, she's got to putt it. Well, not an easy putt, though, is it? No, it's not an easy putt, and it, it, uh, it's all about how it bobbles through that fringe coming up the hill. Had to give it enough to get it up to the top of the hill. And it's run a little ways by. 16, Georgia Hall to get it to 9 under. Joins that group. Share of third. And Charlie Hall also right there at 9 under, trying to get it to 10. Putt just barely slips to her right. Good call. Good day, though. Went on a run in the middle. Had three birdies in a row. Five of six, middle of the round. 66 and five back. And now Se Young Kim for birdie. Hardly even uh, perhaps down to read this, just basically feeling with her feet, walking up and down the line, like what she felt. Well, we know another player that uh, has used that technique very well, M.B. Park, and uh, Se Young remembers being in middle school, uh, seeing M.B. Park win the U.S. Women's Open. So a little bit of a difference in the age, but still looking up to M.B. Hannah Green turns away at 16. Yeah, not really a surprise. Whole location tucked on that right. This one on the left side of the green. And she has to be a bit frustrated right now, Terry. She's had opportunities and not taken advantage. Made all pars since the seventh hole. Starting with the seventh hole. Jin Young Ko. Another player who's had opportunities and not taken advantage of them. This one a little bit on the defensive side, I imagine, Stricker. Yeah, this has got a, again, has a little speed to it, and it's going to just move slightly to her right, I think, as it comes down that hill. Looking for her first birdie since the seventh. Just had to be really careful. So that's going to be a four for Jin Young Ko, likely to remain three back. It was uh, quite the day in Canada. They draw huge crowds. That's the part. For Lexi. Oh, yeah. Good, <laughs> good putt. If you jump back on your heels, that. Yeah. That sends it in. So yeah. mistake with the second shot, but gets away with it, and she remains at uh, eight under six back, and it just crept in. And now clean up work for Kim. And she stays at fourteen under six under for the day. 
Looking for the low round of the day and a comfortable lead racing ahead by. Back at 16, Hannah Green, lengthy birdie. It is, and sometimes you need to make one of these to get things going, but not to be there. Kind of the story of her day. We take you to 17. And the third for Lydia Ko, who's in that uh, bunker with the steep face. really well done that'll be a birdie for Lydia Ko and while we have a moment let's go down to Damon Hackers with Brooke Henderson triple but you know you're around for four days that's true this is um, this is a week without a cut say young Kim on the tee at 16 six iron tough to go flag hunt here isn't it Steve yeah I think this is one of those holes where you're just trying to put it in the center of the green and and uh, get your three and move on That's a good line if it gets back there. Been an awful lot, Jerry, today where it seems like a player needed another half a club. It seems like that all day, doesn't it? Well, of course, it seems like my career. Every hole seems into the wind. <laughs> another look. Gets that club up pretty high at the top of her backswing. Now, there's one that's going to go down the line a little better. You see the ball take off almost almost trying to cut just a fraction. I think just a good one. I think just a normal one, 65 probably go, or, or I mean, 75 probably goes okay. like, yeah, high 60s. <laughs> okay. I like this club for Lexi, six iron should be, as Curtis said, a nice, perfect one, although, as I say that, the breeze just starts to die a little bit. You know, Minji Lee said it, Jerry, in her interview. Uh, she said the greens are holding pretty well. And what I have to do tomorrow, and I think what these players need to do now with the finish, is play a little more aggressively with their irons. Yeah, I think uh, with Lexi, the one thing I've seen this year that I haven't seen so much in past years, and Steve and I have been talking about it, is, is a really, really conservative strategy from the tee. And she has the length. I know it's not easy out here, but she has the length to make it a little easier on herself. trapped a little no. bit. It's on your face every time I read that promo. I'm Without the animation, Jin <laughs> Young Ko now. That's a nice looking one. So get two full club lengths back from the T blocks with a hybrid. Beauty. And hole high. That's what you like to see. So, an opportunity for Jin Young Ko, the number one player in the world. It's been a while, the last birdie for the tee at the 17th, Hannah Green. Well, and Hannah's not the longest drivers on the LP, so this fairway is plenty wide enough. Doesn't want to go too far right, though, because she can get blocked out with those trees. And she was looking a little concerned, and it is going to be tight towards yep. the pine straw. There's just no rough on this golf course. It goes straight from the fairway into the pine straw or the coquina. So this is what Lexi is going to have to deal with at 16. She's got the putter, Jerry? Yeah, a little similar to the last one. Has to kind of kick a field goal here between a drain and then a sprinkler up closer to the green. One on the right, one on the left. Downhill lie putting up the hill again, Steve. Uh, talk to me. Yeah, very, uh, I don't want that shot. I know that it's it's difficult and uh, she's going with the putter again, but again, it's up the hill and it, then it races away down the hill. So it's gonna be an extremely difficult putt to judge the speed just right. Would you be putting this, Judy? I think I'd be chipping it, to tell you the truth, because I think she's uh, got that downhill lie, which means down grain, and um, I, I'm okay with taking out my 60 and kind of using it and flying it past that uh, the fringe. So, uh, but let's see what she does. I think this is all a matter of what a player is most confident in. Uh, you can say there's a right way and a wrong way to play it, but if you can go with the right way, and if you're not good at that particular shot, usually doesn't come off. No doubt, Judy, and it's uh, it's a difficult one, so 
uh, around here you have a lot of grain to deal with and, and uh, it can make you look pretty foolish pretty quick. Better than average there. Um, again, speed from this distance is, is cru crucial, and um, but the greens are so good here that get them started on line, you always got the opportunity to make them one of these. Give it a run, and then some. Hmm. So still work to do for par as we go up to 17. This is the third for Austin Ernst. You've just seen Megan Kang missed the green from a similar spot. She's gone with the putter. There is a bit of a backboard there, but I think she's, well, yeah, she's okay. It's just suffered t such a tough shot if you miss this long left. Uh, keep down the hill a little bit, so speed uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue, and it's moving a little bit right to left for her. And like I said, the greens here at Tiburon are the best I've seen in all the years that I've been here. So you get them started online, they get a chance to go in. Stroke looks pretty good for Coach today. I know she hasn't made one in a while, but... Yeah, I, I like what she's doing, and uh, her tempo is what I've noticed the most, I think, is that she's got a nice pace to her stroke and uh, puts a nice roll on it, and she could use one to go in here for sure, though. Yep. It's been a dry spell here in terms of birdies. Made two in her first seven holes and hasn't made one since. George Hall looks to be lying well in the bunker. Not a lot of green to work with, but can be aggressive. Oh, unlucky that didn't go in. I think it just clipped the hole in the flag. Yesterday was 71 and um, in part not around in the 60s because she had 32 putts. Good, Good putt. Putt. Yep. Well, I had to be a bit disappointed because she was so excited after that opening round 65. What she's done here before the success, the work she put in the last week, and then shoot 65 and thinks, oh, I'm, I'm running now. It hadn't worked out. Yeah, the, 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 you know, the 71, um, even though it's, the number might sound all right to you, uh, wasn't her best round of golf, and the putter did not cooperate. Kim for par. Early walk to Kevin now walk. <laughs> that was just, as soon as it left the putterhead. Never a doubt. You are a completely different putter on the first putt when you have no fear about the second putt. Good point. Austin Ernst for birdie. Get it to 10 under par. Ty Georgia Hall trying to play her way into that final three ball tomorrow. They'll continue with three balls off two tees. Slightly earlier finish tomorrow. there so that's going to be a five for Austin Ernst it's a par at 17 and she will remain nine under five back and they're all chasing Say Young Kim here at the CME Group Tour Championship the season ender in Naples under sunny skies beautiful weekend looking good for Say Young